What the weirdest thing you did while you were high? I set a hot pocket in the microwave and put in my pin number for the cook time. One time years ago I was camping at a campground with my wife and a few friends, we're all sitting around the fire drinking. Her brother and I go for a walk to smoke some joints. We finish that and I have to piss so he goes back to the group, and when I'm done I head back as well. So I get back and I'm pretty baked at this point, and I'm just standing there watching the fire and drinking my beer for a few minutes. I then noticed a particular Coleman lantern on the picnic table and thought to myself, I don't remember us having one of those here. It was at that point that I realized I was standing at the wrong damn campsite, amongst a bunch of people I have never met, while my group was watching from the next site over, laughing and wondering WTF I was doing. The strangers have a much scarier version of this same exact story. Tomorrow's Ask Reddit, what was the creepiest thing that happened while you were camping? Freaked out that I'd lost my iPod somewhere on the way to the train station. I got off the train and went back, retracing my steps all the way back to my apartment. Only to realize that I was listening to music the whole time. On my iPod. I do that without being high. Me, completely sober driving home from work oh shit. I forgot my keys at work, oh how would I be driving then? Ha! Huh. Me, completely sober having a phone conversation with someone where did I put my phone? Was hot boxing and used my windshield wipers to try and clear the smoke. Got up to leave my bedroom and knocked on the door before opening it to go out. I relate to this calm, polite kind of high. My friend is restless when he's high so he was standing at the edge of the living room while most of our group was seated. I wanted to sit down too but I ended up standing behind him because I thought we had to wait in a line to get into the living room. I used to go round to friends every week to watch a particular TV show and get stoned. On about the fourth week my friends started going crazy like head had this sudden major epiphany. They've got the same names as us. It had been four episodes and neither of us had noticed the two main characters had the same names as us. That was proper weird. Edit, so many people trying to guess my name, in Rumpelstiltskin y'all. Beavis and Butthead? Spent 45 minutes looking for my glasses with my friend. Said duck at BC I had to leave and was now running late. When I went to put on my sunglasses I smashed them onto my glasses. I had my glasses on my fucking face the whole time and neither myself or my friend noticed. That's on him. 100%. I'd probably be like dude, I thought you meant another pair of glasses. I was on acid at a music festival and asked a cop if he would name a hurricane after me. Fortunately he thought that was funny. I was on acid at a music festival. Was on the dance floor when I felt I had to pee so I head off to the toilets. They were filthy so I said duck it I'll go piss in the woods. Get to the tree line and I feel like everyone is watching me. Reckon that I've exhausted my options so I head back to the dance floor. Get there and realize I have to pee. Guess I'll go to the toilets. Did it two more times. Don't remember where I ended up pissing. Probably in your pants. Ordered food for delivery. Forgot. Went to grocery store for stuff to barbecue. Remembered about the food for delivery while paying in line. Did you buy the stuff anyways? Don't remember. It's been a long time. Or maybe it's only been 20 minutes and you're still waiting for your food. One time I came back inside from a back porch smoke and put my lighter in the sink. My reasoning was ill put it in the dishwasher later. For the millionth time Black Davidovni, if you're gonna leave it in the sink at least let it soak. As a dishwasher, this sentence hurt me. It's not that weird, but I get really weird sensations when I'm high, other people probably get it too but I just don't know how to describe it. But one time I was just rubbing my leg a little because I was cold, and my friend was sitting next to me. So then I was like. Well, I can feel my hand and I can feel my leg, I wonder if I can feel hers. So I rubbed her leg and was like wow. I can't feel it and I didn't really understand why. My friend just laughed at how stupid I was lamal. Eating yogurt with a fork in front of my parents. My dad waited for about 10 minutes to say that a spoon might make it easier. I just imagine a slightly disappointed look on your father's face as he leans against the counter watching you attempt this and wondering if he should say anything. A few years ago I was on shrooms with some friends and we went on a walk to smoke a cig. Every time I took a puff of my cigarette, 
I was expecting to taste Mountain Dew and I was disappointed every time that it didn't. I quit smoking cigs a few days after that. Crazy. Mushrooms helped my friend quite smoking too. She was standing there smoking and all of a sudden just held it in front of her face, went, in breathing ducking fire. And never smoked again. Psilocybin helps people quit smoking at really high rates. Therese spin studies on it. Not to make you feel bad, like your story is insignificant or something, just wanted to make it known to more people. The more people that can quit smoking the better. It's been really cool to watch the news start making the connections between shrooms and helping people. I think I've seen studies on them helping people with PTSD at least, if not others. Just. It's really cool what can happen when we stop demonizing plants and start looking at how they can help. Nature's neat. I came home crossfaded one night, easily the most intoxicated I'd ever been. I walked into the living room and pushed the TV to the back of the table. Instead of the couch I sat down where the TV used to be and stared at the couch silently, alone, and into the pitch black darkness for at least 30 seconds before saying out loud, so this is what it's like to be a TV. I realized that I'd had way too much and went to bed before I hurt myself. Completely freaked out because everyone around me was speaking a foreign language and I couldn't understand anything. Note to self, don't get high in a foreign country. Went to let the dog out and I walked out instead and left my dog inside. Ate a whole bowl of cereal with a fork took me like 2 minutes to figure out why TF it was taking so long and why I wasn't getting any milk. There is a guy at the match 2 rows in front of me who eats a pie with a coffee stirrer. I had an old boss eat a salad with a hair comb. Did he comb his hair before or after? Blew on my cereal to cool it down. Hey you can never be too careful. The very first time I got high, my lovely friend told me you'll know when you've had enough so of course I smoked a ton. When I wasn't moving, it felt like time had stopped. I had no idea what was going on. If I moved though, I was completely fine. I ended up dancing to no music by myself as long as I could before I went to sleep, I think I went to sleep anyway. Time wasn't working, I may have just laid there for 8 hours. When I wasn't moving, it felt like time had stopped. I had no idea what was going on. If I moved though, I was completely fine. Super. Hot. Super. Hot edit. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. Every time I get stoned, I just want to confine myself to the smallest space possible. It's not a fear or anxiety thing, stone me genuinely feels more comfortable under a table or bed, or even inside a cardboard box this one time. Are you a cat? If I fits I sits. Got high, ate a bunch of jalapio poppers not that weird. No, the weird part was the calendar appointment I made for myself the next morning that just said ha ha ha. Jaime apparently predicted the right time for my morning bowel movement, and, as little jalapio poppers burned again on the way out, he reached out across time and space to laugh at sober me about it. I love when high drunk selves do stuff like this. I did the opposite, when I was about to smoke up after a long break, I wrote Jaime a note, reassuring myself that everything was okay, no one was going to be coming to the house, that my girlfriend wasn't mad at me, that it was okay to drink a little rum but not too much, and that I should hydrate it. Next time, have the common decency to at least prepare high you some snacks. I used to do this. Microwave pizza pops or whatever and put them next to my chair. Go outside and get blazed as hell. Come back in and there are pizza pops waiting for me, the time spent sitting letting the magma center slowly even out to the perfect temperature for immediate consumption. Always caught me by surprise, and now I talk to my past and future selves in the third person because I'd be wah, thanks past bro before ho. And while microwaving them I'll be thinking about how much future bro before ho is going to love them.